Okay, you guys, so it started. It's time for me to get started on this French bread. I'm on Mel's Kitchen Cafe, um, and I am going to be making this easy homemade French bread. These are the ingredients that you're going to need um, here, and then here are some of the instructions. I'll link this down below so that um, you can uh, have the recipe, pull it up on your own, and make it yourself. So here I've got some sugar, I've got flour, salt, got a little measuring cup, some warm water, I've got some yeast, and I've got some olive oil. So that's pretty much all you need for this bread. So I am about to get it started. I have my dough hook here. I just connected it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dump this water. Now this is supposed to be two and one fourth cup. I'm pretty sure this is. Um, it just goes up to two cups. So I wasn't sure about the one fourth part. So I'm just kind of measuring it. And as you can see, I had about a half a cup. So I'm going to get a one fourth cup. Now, of course, like with any bread recipe, you may need more or less water. But for now, I'm just going to go with um, what it says. I'm going to add my two tablespoons of sugar. Then my one tablespoon of yeast and I'm just gonna mix that with a spoon really quick just stir it around I'm gonna let this sit for um, three to five minutes it says three-fourths tablespoon of salt I'm gonna just assume that this is about three-fourths of a tablespoon just gonna sprinkle that in then we do two tablespoons oops of olive oil I'm doing olive oil. It says you can use any type of oil you want. You can do vegetable, canola, avocado. I'm just going with olive oil. And then I'm gonna put my three cups of flour. That is one cup and I'm trying to level it off the best I can so I don't have too much like extra flour. I'm just going to lift up my bowl and it says to go ahead and mix it now. So I'm just going to go ahead and add another cup of flour while it's still mixing. Typically, like, so now I'm gonna add in my fifth cup. Seems like the dough is starting to come together. And now the rest, the other cup is about optional. So I'm just gonna see where this goes because I'm hoping to get like a light and fluffy dough. Usually when I make my bread, a lot of times it's heavy, it's been heavy and dense. So I'm trying to do less flour, the least amount I can with you know what the recipe calls for so this is my dough with five cups of flour i think i'm gonna leave it at five cups i'm gonna let this knead until it looks really elastic -y and really soft like 10 minutes um just because i it's better to do it in your mixer over your hand oh and it's so soft and it's so smooth like amazing so i'm gonna see what the next instructions are i'm just gonna cover with some oil let it rise so it's doubled in size and cover this thing up with some plastic wrap. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'll see you guys in an hour after this has doubled in size. All right guys, so I think I let this rise way more than an hour. Do anything on? Okay, I'm just gonna do that. And then, wow, this dough is amazing. So I am just Dividing this. I'm just going to take one and put it back in the bowl for now. And then this one. Take this. Oh my gosh, this dough is absolutely fantastic. 
I am obsessed. This is probably the best dough I've ever done. Seriously. Um, so this looks like a good size rectangle, I would say. And then it says, roll it up from the long edge, pressing any air bubbles out. I don't know, I'm not a perfect bread roller outer or loaf maker. I'm just gonna assume that we're gonna do this. I don't wanna make it too long because my, my little um, French bread things aren't that, um, that big. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but let me grab those. This is my little French bread um, thing I got over off Amazon. So, let me see. Just put that here for now. I think I'm gonna just, I don't know. This is gonna be so ugly. Uh, I'm gonna redo it. <laughs> I'll be back, I'm gonna redo it. Okay, you guys, so I got both of my loaves. I'm not sure if this is too, um, if this is gonna be too like small for these, but I guess we'll find out. So after you do this, she says you can slice it now. If you don't have like a sharp knife um, or a razor blade after it rises, you definitely wanna do it now so that you don't mess it up or deflate it after it re-rises. So I'm just cutting it with my knife because I don't have one of those fancy things. But before I go, I'll show you, I get a nice, oops. I don't know if you can get a, hold on, hold on. Let's do this better. So this is what they're looking like. They look cute. Let's see, did I put more stripes in that one? Let's see, I put six and I put four. I'm gonna do a couple more. Cause I'm crazy like that. Okay, there's that. I'm just gonna let this rise again for the amount of time in the recipe. I'm just gonna let it sit right here. I'll be back. It's been about an hour. I had preheated my oven to 375 already. And let's look at these. Oh my goodness, they look absolutely amazing. They are just starting to touch. So I'm wondering if these guys are going to um, get bigger in the oven, but they look really good. I hope they're light and airy and fluffy because that's the problem. Every time I make French bread, it is like dense and heavy. I'm just trying to find the light, airy type bread. So I'm about to pop these in the oven and I will be right back. I think, let me see how long these have to cook. Hold on. One second. It says 375. Four. Come on. I think. Ready to go for 25 to 30 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, you guys, these are my French loaves right out of the oven. They are huge. They got a lot bigger in the oven. As you can see, they did kind of stick a bit, but that's okay. What I'm, about to, what I'm about to do actually, I'm gonna take some butter and rub it over the top real quick. So I just went ahead and grabbed this stick of butter from the fridge. And this is so hot, I'm just gonna go over the top to soften up the top part and everything because this bread is pretty hard coming out. But it smells absolutely amazing. It is amazing. It's My house smells so good, you guys. Definitely recommend definitely recommend this um, recipe. I'm going to finish this buttering up and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done, but I will put this recipe in the description box. So this is the finished result, you guys. The bread is softening up very nicely. Um, I baked this at 30 minutes, um, 375 for 30 minutes. I'm going to show you guys the bottom. It's not very brown or crispy or anything, but one thing I did forget to do is... Um, oil this so if I probably would have put some oil on it it would have probably browned up but this bread feels very light and airy you guys I think I found my perfect recipe I did do five cups of flour I didn't do any more than that 
And you guys, oh my gosh, I'm making chicken alfredo tonight. So this is going to go with it. I'm going to let this sit here and just cool off, chill out for the day until it's time to eat later. And I will show you guys um, what it looks like once I cut, cut into it later. So this is the bread after we cut into it. It is so soft, so light, so airy. My, da my daughter has literally eaten everything I was gonna show you. <laughs> She's got some butter and she just went to town. She said it's so good. So give this a try, you guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this recipe. So it is, huh? She's like, I always wanna eat your homemade bread now. So I'm gonna be making this a lot more. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. If you um, like this video, please subscribe. It's Bye. So